Okay, so today we're going to learn how to create some tentacles with some blood splatters, just like you've seen here. We added our shiny metal text in just for a bit of extra effect. Now, first thing we want to do is create a new image, and we're just going to make it 800 by 600. Then what we want to do is, using our paint bucket tool, we want to fill the background with color of your choice. So I'm just going to select a light purple. Then what we want to do is we want to create a new layer by clicking here. And then using our rectangle marquee tool, just uh, drag, map out a rough length of the tentacle that you'll like, and then change the foreground color to black, and then fill that with black. Then we want to create a second layer, and this time we want to fill the color with a uh, light gray. So I'm just selecting this gray from over here. I'm going to fill that there. And then we want to go into filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. Now you want to select around about 4 pixels for this, so I'm going to select say 4.1 and then hit OK. Now what we want to do is right click on the top layer and select Merge Down and then we want to go into Edit and then Free Transform. Now to do this accurately if you hold Control, Shift and Alt and then drag this box inwards that will give you a very accurate point and then just give that a tick. Now what you can do is you can duplicate this layer so and then keep that layer as your backup so you can make multiple copies of the tentacles. Now what you want to do is select the tentacle layer and then go into select and deselect to deselect it then go into filter, distort and shear and then we just want to make the tentacle, you can see in the preview that it's going to make it a bit sort of wobbly like. So I'm just going to, you can play around with this of course. Um, I'm just going to select probably that there and then hit OK and then that's given us a wobbly tentacle. Now I'm only going to do one for this video as doing five or ten is going to take a while. So We'll continue on. Now, the next thing you want to do is go into Filter, Artistic and Plastic Wrap. Now, this is pretty important. So, you need to select these settings here. Um, highlight Strength 9, Detail 9 and Smoothness 2. And then just hit OK. Now, what we want to do is you can add some shadow by right clicking on the layer here and selecting blending options then give it a drop shadow. Now you probably want to make the distance fairly small so because you want it sort of close to the ground so probably one pixel and the spread have it as zero and the size will have it as zero or one as well then hit OK now what we want to do is using our blood brushes which is available from our website by going to lovetohelp.com clicking on downloads and then downloading one of the Angry Blue brush packs provided by angryblue.com so that's a direct link to the downloads of the brush pack there you just click on that save it and then install it into your Photoshop brushes folder now to select your blood brushes, what you need to do is uh, select the paintbrush tool, then click this button here, and then click the, mar uh, the arrow, and then select your angry blue pack, and then select OK to apply the brushes. Now what we want to do is, I'm going to select this brush here, because it looks pretty bloody, and then we want to hold control, click on the tentacle, and of course select a red color then create a new layer and with that still selected we want to click on some blood just like so then to make the blood more realistic with the blood layer selected we want to change the blending mode to color burn and then it will give us that realistic looking effect there then we want to select the tentacle layer 
and then go to filter sharpen and sharpen and you can also select the blood layer and go to filter sharpen sharpen just to give it a more splattered effect and then you can reapply that filter by selecting sharpen or pressing control F once you've added all of your tentacles and you're happy with how many tentacles you've added the final step is to select the background and then with your blood splatter appropriate size selected uh, just click on the background just to add some splatters and then you can go into filter sharpen and sharpen to make it more realistic and that's basically it. Uh, I hope this has been a help to you and thanks for watching.